G'day. Welcome to Chuck Chases the Facts, where we look at strange things on the internet and YouTube. So, started this video with a little screenshot from my computer. Um, nearly there. $98. 98 so close i really really still i know it's december but i really would still like to get to that hundred dollars with your help uh thank you to the anonymous donors appreciate it uh special thank you to peter thank you for your uh, donation um cheers might um chair's creaking again so we'll have to put up with that um Okay, so this video is a little bit different. Um, it's going to be um, one of those talk over videos. Um, the ones that uh, people like the Generation Nation do. Um, I've not done one before. I've had a little bit of practice. I think I've got it. This guy, um, chap called Sean. Um, it is a few years ago, it's 2011, but he is a big, fat liar. Um, he produced two videos and never did one again. The first one is total bullshit. And I'll go through that, I've, um, I'll, I've broken it down. We'll talk through that. The second one, um, Possibly a little bit more realistic at the beginning and at the end, but the rest in the middle is bullshit and could probably prove that. Um, sovereign citizen doesn't use the language too much, uh, just wants to get across his point of right to travel, but still, in my book, sovereign citizen and a liar, absolute liar. So, two videos, I'll keep them as short as possible. Let's have a look. Now, does this smack anybody else as weird? Um, if you're in Oklahoma and you request them to stop, isn't that part of the First Amendment right that you can record wherever you want as long as you're in public? Um, I have identification. Can I say it, and I'm recording this conversation. Just so you know. This is my identification. You know, the tag in your vehicle is a it's a paper tag. Yeah. Now, just here, you can see in his left hand is a white. Piece of paper it looks like a business card. Let's just see what happens to that. It's my tag that I made myself. Mm -hmm. Now, since when did a sovereign citizen not poke a camera in the officer's face? And to be honest, officers don't really care about it. And since when do they redact a name? They always ask for name and badge number. And since when would you blur out the officer's card? Now, if we look carefully at this officer's card, right at the very top there, it says Oklahoma Board of. Now, it took me some a lot of research, but that actually says Oklahoma Board of Tests. And underneath, some of the words, can't make out the first word, 
but the next words are alcohol and drugs. So this is a business card from somebody from the Oklahoma Board of Tests that uh, conduct drug and alcohol testing. It is not the police officer's card. You need that a little longer? Yes, sir. Thank you. Make a read this, maybe back to the Okay. So, I think you'll agree with me on that first one. Big, fat liar. Absolute hoax. Hoax of all hoaxes. No image of the police officer. No name. No badge number. No business card. And drives off scot-free for having a paper tag. Come on. And this idiot got over half a million views from this. What I wouldn't give for a tenth of that. The next one, it's a lot longer video, so I am gonna crop it down and squeeze it in, but I will have all the salient points in there. Here we go again. So the best I can tell, this is a genuine police vehicle. It's a plain, unmarked vehicle. It has the light bar across the top of the windscreen. It has the flashing lights in the wing mirror, which is very unique to police vehicles. But as you can see in the reflection of the mirror, the officer getting out of the door is um, a black gentleman. Doesn't appear to have any hair. I wonder if that's going to make any significance. Hey, that's there. She drives license and your insurance, please. I've watched thousands of police stops in the USA. They ask to see your driver's license, insurance, and registration, all three together. Yes, please. I'm sorry, I'm asking who you are, sir. Do what? I'm asking your name, sir. You can put that cell phone down for starters. I'm recording a conversation. Okay, well, you can put it down while you do it. Okay. All right, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Since when did a police officer say, put the cell phone down so you can't record me? Doesn't sound right. And also, he asked for license and insurance, didn't give the driver the chance to offer those and immediately asked him to step out of the vehicle. Doesn't ring quite true. But there's another thing in that little clip there that I'm gonna go back to and see if anybody can spot the error. Actually, may I ask who you are, sir? Can you ask who, what? May I ask who you are, sir? Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna see police department. Now that you know who I am and that I am a police officer and you must follow my lawful orders or you will be placed under arrest. Do you understand that, correct? Okay, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I'm not going to get into this whole uh, sovereign nation thing and all that okay. kind of stuff, okay? You're in the city limits, corporate city limits of Oklahoma City. You are not displaying a lawful tag. You are going to get a citation for that, and you're going to follow my direction. You will be exiting this vehicle, or you will be taken downtown to post a bond on your violation. But if you have anything else to discuss, I don't know what it could possibly be. Let's just look at the shirt on this gentleman for a while. First of all, Oklahoma... Uh, police department do not use that color uh, it's a more gray color there are no lapel badges um, the shirt is wrinkled it's oversized 
I honestly don't think that's a police officer. And the language that he used, um, sovereign nation, who who has ever in the history called it a sovereign nation? And then goes and say, you're in the city limits, the corporate city limits of Oklahoma City. Has anybody heard a police officer say the corporate city limits? I think he's following the script. Now, as long as you understand that I'm doing it against my will, I will oh, I'll, yeah. I'll do what you yeah. ask. I'm not agreeing yeah. to anything. He's doing this against his will, so Oklahoma City says that. All right, step on out. You mind if I get my identification? You can't, yeah, you got any weapons in here? No. Okay, yeah, grab your identification. What's about? So the officer illegally goes into the vehicle, grabs Sean's cell phone, records a monologue to say that he's doing this against his will and all the time his name again is redacted it's, it just smells it smells like a fish that's been in the fridge for four weeks okay so after sean gets out of the vehicle with the officer um jason the brother-in-law takes over the commentary and he uh, goes on to say that he's been searched uh, then he says he's been patted down then he says that he's been taken to the vehicle he gets in the vehicle um, but he also doesn't pick up his two phones because Sean's got his phone going and Jason's got his phone going at no point does he pick up his phone and point it at the vehicle like typical soft sits do uh, the first officer then comes back to the vehicle and asks Jason, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to walk? Do you want to lift? Because this vehicle isn't going anywhere. Um, then after a short period, he's told to get back into the vehicle because the vehicle doesn't need to leave. Then another officer, or the, the alleged second officer, comes to the vehicle to grab the VIN number. Let's look at that. Approaching the car. Come around to the driver's side. You want me to get out? Unlock it. Unlock it. Oh, hey, do me a favor. I'm going to get a number off this real quick. Just put your hands right there on the dash just for a second while I do it, okay? Yep. Thank you. Um, first of all, if you're in the police detention, then they have the right to enter the vehicle. Uh, without your consent um, also the officer wants to obtain the VIN number now from personal experience to obtain the VIN number it is nigh on possible to get it from the inside of the vehicle um, officers stand on the driver's side of the vehicle and the VIN is located in the bottom right hand corner of the windscreen and that's where we normally stand to take down the VIN number so getting into the vehicle to look for the VIN number again just smells okay one officer got out let Shane out of the car Shane's walking towards our vehicle yeah, is that recording? Yep. So Shane gets back into the vehicle. Um, he's got uh, some paperwork, which I believe that you can pick up from a police station, and it's entitled "Understanding Your Fine." Um, he reckons that they find him for. Uh, a dodgy registration not providing insurance and not providing a license now in a normal world certainly in the US that would be vehicle seized towed and more than likely arrest so I really am calling bullshit on the whole thing I really am so what do you think? Liar, liar, pants on fire, as they say? I think so. Um, 
and he's got nearly 800,000 views from those two videos. What I wouldn't give for 800,000 views. Jeez. So uh, that's it. As usual, um, the uh, original video has been in the description below. Uh, comments, please, uh, in the comment section below. And you all know by now, I reply to every single comment that is worthy. Uh, that'll do. I am on my five day break. This being day one, uh, one video today. And who knows how many more videos this week. I'm doing a lot of research, looking at a different, a couple of different avenues. But um, yeah, let's crack on. Subscribers still going up, 225. Awesome, thank you. Um, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. G'day.